Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this without using this. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. The show that keeps you guessing. Today, I wanted to tell you guys about a little bit of a journey I've been going through working with my lens. How to get this image without using one of these. And I'm gonna show you the difference with this and the technique a setting that I used on the camera, what the difference looks like. So let me show you that first and then we'll get into it. All right, so this is the lens I've been using and I really like it and I recommend it it in my accessories video for the Canon Vixia HF 800. Now the problem with this lens is it likes light glare a lot. And if you've been watching my videos you'll see and you can't see it on the screen here but there'll be glare and I don't see it until I go to edit it and it it's just it's just messing up. And I know the haters are gonna tell me right off the bat why don't you use a lens hood? Well I've tried a lot of them. I've tried this. Folds in. Doesn't really work very well. I think they call this the tulip. Once again, doesn't really work well. I've even tried to make my own. And this was the closest it came to, but it didn't block the light like I wanted it to. And I had to keep trimming edges so it wouldn't be in the view. It wasn't working, and it was really, really, really frustrating. So what I want to show you is in comparison to the wide angle, I want you guys look at this frame, you know, look at it from over here and over here, and see the difference between the wide angle and the little trick that I found inside the camera. So let's see what those look like right now. And here we are. The wide angle lens is off, and you can see that I have the nice wide angle lens, but now the lens of the camera is hidden. It doesn't get bombarded with light and create these sparks and orbs and all the stuff that I can't stand when I'm editing my videos. All right, so let's go over to the workbench and get this working, shall we? All right, so this is the easiest way for me to show you guys how this works. I have my iPhone pointed at a monitor and I have the camera pointed at me and I'm able to touch everything on the screen here and show you how to use it. So this is what we're gonna do. In the middle of the screen, basically where my nose is, you'll see this home button. We're gonna click on that. Shooting mode, we're gonna click on that auto and we're gonna go down to high priority. That's just my preference. You can pick any of these that has this option. So we're gonna click on that, hit okay. All right, so now here we are. You get to see my beautiful face as soon as that card gets out of the way. Ah, there it is. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the corner. It's gonna be my right hand corner. I'm just gonna tell you what the, what the actual little things are. The little icon is a camera with a gear on top of it. And if it's right in the right hand corner for me, I'm going to click on that. And if you see zoom type, that's what we're looking for, zoom type. I'm going to click on that. Right now it's set at 32. Put it to 57. It's advanced, so I don't know if that's optical. But right now 32 is optical, 52 is advanced. And then you could do, I don't know why you would do this digital 140. I, I, I don't mess with that. I just do this one. 57. If you looked at my last videos, this is what I've been shooting in. And so far, I mean, I got to do a little bit more editing on it. So far, I haven't really seen a difference and it's gotten rid of that glare. So we're going to click out of that. And now we have that wide view that we've been looking for. That nice open screen view. And we didn't have to buy a lens. And we didn't have to use a lens. And we didn't have to play with it and get lens hoods and spend all the stupid money that I've been spending on just trying to fix this problem. Sometimes it's just in the software, guys. All right, so that's it. That's how you set up the Canon Vixia with a wide angle. I hope that helps you guys. Those Canon Vixia enthusiasts out there are enjoying their cameras. I still am. A year later, love the damn thing. Still love it. The only thing I wish I had was Wi-Fi. But anyway, I think it's doing great. I think it looks better with the regular lens than it did with the extended lens. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on that. So if you know, if you see, if you're looking at my video and saying, hey, well, the wide angle lens looked better even though it had a glare, put a comment down below. Or if you're gonna say, finally, you got a clue, Will. You don't need that stupid lens. Make sure you like and subscribe that this helped you guys and I really appreciate it. And I hope all you Canon Vixia lovers out there like it. And to show how much you like it, just hit that like button and subscribe. That'll be even better. Canon will know. Canon will know. I will tell them. I'm not sponsored. They have no idea who I am. No, nor do they care. <laughs> 
And remember, you could do anything, and I mean anything, if you put your mind to it. Later, guys! Note to oneself, don't get your tello lens confused with your wide-angle lens. This isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe, and maybe click on one of the videos above. So I don't know what to tell you.